<laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Solomon aka Mama Boudoua. It's a great day and I'm so excited this hour to show my beautiful face. Thank God it's Friday. I'm here to talk to us about something beautiful. Like we all know, I talk about good sex and marriage. And today is not a different one. We are going to still talk about it. But before then, I like to encourage the couples, especially the ones that have stay more than five years, ten years, and even the new one coming up. It will get to some point where we just get tired of each other, as in doing the same thing, the same way, as in getting bored in the relationship, especially the bedroom. Yes, husband, wife, you can just drive out, throw out, holding hands together, as in while you drive out, there are so much, there's so much thing that you can do to light it up again. I like to tell you this. A woman, if your husband is driving, and in order for him not to just be bored, not to be lonely, as he's using the gear, you can also use his own gear to be driving along with him. And that is a good one. Now, let's take it to the bedroom itself. Yes, I like to do this, especially in the morning. And especially when it is Friday, uh, Saturday morning when everyone is relaxing. Maybe your husband is just sleeping and you, you're like, ah, let me just try and bring this man back to life. Maybe for the stress of the week, he has done so much and you just want to relax him. You're going to start taking it to the left, to the left, to the left. What did I mean by to the left, to the left? Take his left nipple, suck it, play with it. Let him know that you are in charge. Trust me, you own it. So, exploit it the way he is going to exploit your own. I was saying it somewhere sometimes that a man's nipple is a weapon to, to, to foreplay in the bedroom. And there's like, ah, what do you have to do with a man's nipple? Yes, yeah, there's so much you can do with a man's nipple. As you're sucking his nipple, you use your left hand as well to hold the third leg. What did I mean by the third leg? It's dick. Use your left, your left hand to do justice as well. As you are doing that, your right hand is not left out. What are you doing with your right hand? Put it on his right nipple and play with it very well. And after doing all this, at this point, the man will want to respond. No, you don't need. To, he doesn't need to take it. Rush, rush. There is no thing to rush about. At this time, you need your mouth. So remember, before you can do this and achieve a great result, the, the night before now, you will have brushed your mouth and let your mouth have a good breath. You take it to him and him also as a man. There are some men that when you tell them to brush their mouth, it's a problem. No, the two of you brush together good hygiene. And when you, the mouth is doing well, then you as a woman, take, remember you are in charge. Take your mouth from the nipple and take it straight to his mouth. Kiss him like the way you want him to kiss you. That is, you take it from the lips, dry one, lick all his lips, then take it straight into his mouth. Use your tongue very well. Use your tongue. And some people don't really know how to kiss. If you know that you don't know how to kiss, it's something you can learn. Come to me, contact me, I will teach you the little one I know by the grace of God. As you are doing that, don't forget your hand is still doing the left assignment at this time. Then it's moving and it's working. We are moving to the promised land. At this point, you are in charge. The cow girl stuff, the cow girl stuff, the cow girl, the cow girl, you sit on top and you do the justice. As you are doing that, it's time for him to turn because you have done your part. You turn and you do the justice when the two of you have landed. Put your mouth close to his ear as you hold him. See that thing is dropping. It's time for you to blow the blessing. Tell him all you want to tell him. At that time, he's listening to you. And it's a sweet experience. It's not all the time that the man should be in charge. You as a woman, take charge. And trust me, you will appreciate it. Good sex in marriage is a good thing. It's a beautiful experience. 
and God will help you. Please, you, are, you cannot be too big to say you know it or nobody knows it or what you don't know, learn. Just as we are learning on the job, we are learning good sex in our marriage, even in the marriage. Remember, I said, exploit the nipple. Kiss and use your hand very well. And don't forget communication. Let him know. Ask him how he feel. And you, husband, when he asks you, don't forget. Don't be too shy and don't be too proud to tell, you, to tell her how you feel. It will enable her, it will help her to do well next time. Till I come your way again, I am Dr. Solomon. Watch out for another story very soon. And it's going to be another style. Thank God it's Friday. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Budwa Plus TV. Follow us on, Insta on Instagram, bedroom underscore zone. And on Facebook, bedroom zone. You need someone to talk to? I am here, Dr. Solomon. And God is here for all of us. Bye. And please enjoy your weekend. Don't dull yourself. Have good sex. Have good sex. There's no need. There's no other two name. You are married. You are licensed. You are licensed. Still dead to your part. Faithful God, have you? Ah.